What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of my favorite builds in all of Fault City 6. We have the Bloodied Explosive Stealth Commando build. Starting off over in the weapon, this is it. This is my 3-star legendary the fixer that we're using for the video, and the main legendary effect is the quad effect, which is quadruple ammo capacity, has the bolts explode for 20% of the weapon's damage, and it also has a plus one to perception. Over the mods, we're using the prime automatic receiver, aligned long barrel, forceful stock, perforating magazine, reflex sight, dot suppressor, and the blood eagle paint. Now to begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful bloodied commando build, we've made our way over to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Lancelot. And as you can see, he's snoozing away, so I'm gonna lock onto his face real quick outside of that. There we go, we got a 133, a 240, another 240, another 240, another 240, and a 472. Not bad at all. Now with these weapons, you're of course going to get the most amount of damage inside of that. So here we go. 299, 472, 472. Now we have a VATS critical lined up. 867, not bad at all. Goodbye, you stupid behemoth. Now we've made our way over to my arch nemesis of Vault 51. We have the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Nancy. We're first going to take out her buffoons real quick. There's one. We got 938 to his face. Holy crap. And then 932 to the other one's face. Now it's Nancy's turn. Luckily, we have a quad so we can just lay into her. Look at that damage. That is absolutely insane, and this Scorched is no more. Our next Wasteland Monstrosities on the list to fill the Wrath of the Commando build are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center, and we're going to start with this guy right here. A 150 to his face, a 269, and another 269 to finish him off. And those are outside of that. Now we're going to kill... Whoa, 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 whoa. Now we're gonna kill this suicider inside of Vats. And just like that, he died instantly. What about this guy? And so did he. Now we get this two-star legendary warlord. Hello, brethren. You wanna feel the power of the fixer? And oh my god, him and this super mutant died also instantly. Oh, super mutant brethren, do y'all wanna feel the power of our fixer? Uh-oh, we've got ourselves two hounds. We're gonna kill these guys outside of Vats real quick. There we go, there we go. Fantastic. Do we have any- Oh, there he is! There he is. Hello, brethren. How you doing? How you doing? I just got a fixture to blow off your face. There we go. Fantastic. Uh-oh. We've got ourselves two more super mutants. We got this guy right here. And we have one up there. We're going to kill this guy outside of that. There we go. Fantastic. Now we're going to kill this guy. Oh, we have two more super mutants. Okay, we're going to kill this guy outside of that real quick. There we go. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now we're going to kill this guy up here inside of that so let me lock onto his face and we even have vats critical lined up here we go one shot 771 to finish him off now we've made our way over to one of the most foul creatures in all of appalachia we have the level 100 mildler queen that goes by the name mrs krabby patties and oh god she's coming this way let me just lock onto her face and the amazing thing about the quad is that you can just lay into your enemies until they're dead watch this Yep, yep, just keep on shooting them bullets. Fantastic, fantastic. And just like that, this Mylar Queen cannot withstand the power of the Fixer. Over in the build, these are the base stats to make up our in-game bloodied explosive commando build. So if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over in the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards to make up our in-game bloodied commando build. Starting off in strength, we have 8, and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have bandolier at 2 stars. Your ballistic weapon ammo weighs 90% less. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the commando cards maxed out to get the maximum damage out of this build. We have Ground Pounder at 2 stars. Automatic rifles reload 20% faster and have an even better hit fire accuracy. We have Tank Killer at 3 stars. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have Concentrate Fire at 1 star. Vats now targets limbs. Focus Fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. Over in Endurance, we have 9 and this one can have Ironclad at 2 stars. Gain 20 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. We have Fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have Radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength, a max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. 
We have Kinfiend at 1 star. Any Kims you take last 30% longer, and we did take Overdrive and Psychotats in this video. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this looking to have Felt Surgeon at 1 star. Stimpaks and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Strange in Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make a target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in Intelligence, we have 8, and this looking to have Nerd Rage at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Demolition Expert at 5 stars. Your Explosives do plus 60% to damage. Over in Agility, we have 15, and this one can have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action Points will generate 45% faster. We have Covert Operative at 3 stars. Your Ranged Attacks do an additional 50% Sneak Attack damage. We have Escape Artist at 1 star. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects Stealth. We have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10%, max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Gunfu at 3 stars. That swaps targets on kill with a 10% to 20% then 30% to damage to your next 3 targets. Over in luck we have 15 and this one can have bloody mess at 3 stars. 15% to bonus damage means enemies may explode in a glow red paste. We have better criticals at 3 stars. Vats criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have serendipity at 1 star. While below 30% health, gain a 15% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have ricochet at 2 stars. Gain a 12% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's range damage, no PvP. We have 4 leaf clover at 2 stars. Each hint Vats has a better chance to fill your critical meter. We have starch genes at 2 stars. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. And we have critical savvy at 2 stars. Critical hits now only consume 70% of your critical meter. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards to help make up our in-game commando build. Starting off in strength, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out, Intelligence maxed out, Luck maxed out, Follow Through maxed out, and Far Flung Fireworks at 2 stars. These are the legendary perk cards, now let's get into my armor, buffs, and mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of Unyielding Gear, which gives me a gain up to plus 3 to all stats except Endurance when low health, and since we're a low health bully build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I used is my trusty normal backpack with a high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over in the Under Armor, what I'm using is my shielded Secret Service Under Armor to get a plus 4 to our strength a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Skull Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubble gum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in our Kim buffs, we're using Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and Psychotats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this, and you want to see more, I also made a video for comparing two of my favorite commando weapons in all of Fault 76. We have the 10mm submachine gun versus the submachine gun. So if you want to check it out, I'll link in the screen right now. You see that? That is my submachine gun video.